watching Bravo, the film and arts network. We've been seeing and hearing what they wanted us to. Until now. Welcome to Exposé. Bravo's inside look at the business behind the arts. Come on, Bravo! Tantrum throwing coloratura. Schwarze Schnitzel, what's the name here? Big egos and bigger salaries. Exposé, hosted by Lauren Hutton. Coming up next, only on Bravo. Creativity in all its forms. Every Sunday on Bravo's original series. Bravo profiles a true American auteur. What's my worst book, he said. And I said, to have and to have not is a bunch of junk. He said, you can't make a picture out of that. And I said, yes, we can. He originated overlapping dialogue, mastered the screwball comedy, and is the man responsible for bringing together Bogey and Bacall. I would have been his, his main girl had I not met Bogart. Bravo profiles Howard Hawks. Tonight, only on Bravo. Jessica Lang is inside the actor's studio. Certainly De Niro is one of those actors. Tommy Lee Jones is another one where you get into the scene and you don't have a clue what they're going to do. Unscripted, unrehearsed, in the only studio where it's possible. And I'd say, Sydney, I wasn't funny. He'd say, oh, you were so funny. Jessica Lang on Bravo's exclusive original series, Inside the Actor's Studio, hosted by James Lipton. Tonight, only on Bravo. Here's what we've got lined up this week on Bravo. Tired of explosions instead of plot? And humor that never acts its age? At Bravo, we'd like to offer an alternative. Five Star Cinema. Movies you can't find anywhere else. Commercial free. Not the same old movie. Five Star Movies. The best movies. Edward Woodward stars in Breaker Moran this Saturday night at 9, only on Bravo's Five Star Cinema. Sometimes a great film doesn't have to be two hours long. Take a look at what we mean. The place in the world, it's like the movies. I love going to the movies. So when you get the movies and there's a bit of a queue, it gets rather annoying. And then they announce like there was no more sea slip. And that pushed me. That pushed me over my limit. And I couldn't control myself. <laughs> like I said, I love the cinema. You got a problem with that? Well, for a while there, I felt like I stood out from the crowd. Come on, come on. Try not to take it so hard. You know, a rose amongst thorns. Oh, Dylan, you know I just never connected with this romantic poetry stuff. Uh, whatever. Not as rich. I just don't need any more reminders of how horrible things are. Not as smart, not as cool. Believe me, I'd rather be studying. Not as good looking. What? And on top of all that... <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't feel right, okay? I had nowhere to live. What? Uh, whatever. Then I had an idea, yeah, I had an idea. And I had what I needed. Hey, I just don't want anybody to take this the wrong way or anything. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, home sweet home. <laughs> uh, you got a problem with that? Yeah, so I got to the cinema and I got my ticket and I got myself a jumbo popcorn because you've got to have a jumbo popcorn when you go to the cinema. Oh, I really love the butter and the salt because a jumbo popcorn, well, it lasts the whole screening. But you know what the best thing is about a jumbo popcorn? Oh, it's the crunchy bits at the bottom. The crunchy bits in the popcorn and the best seat in the house. You got a problem with that? 
Hey, boy. Watching Bravo, the Film and Arts Network. We've been seeing and hearing what they wanted us to. Until now. Welcome to Expose. Bravo's inside look at the business behind the arts. Come on, Bravo! Tantrum throwing coloratura. Schwarz and Schnitzel, what's the name here? Big egos and bigger salaries. Expose by Lauren Hutton. Coming up next. Your favorite stars, up close and real personal, on Bravo's signature series. Julia Roberts is inside the actor's studio. Gary and I got on a plane from Los Angeles and went to New York to meet with Richard Gere. Don't think I didn't call all of my girlfriends and say, I'm on a plane. Here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Unscripted, unrehearsed. Julia Roberts on Bravo's exclusive original series, Inside the Actors Studio, hosted by James Lipton. Premieres Sunday, June 22nd at 9 Eastern and Pacific, only on Bravo. Like films that don't play it safe, sneak a peek at our sister network, the Independent Film Channel, this Friday on Bravo. Every Friday night, there's a free preview on Bravo. Bravo's sister network, the Independent Film Channel. Independent films from the independent filmmakers who work outside the Hollywood system to make movies their way. Uncut and commercial free. Fridays. Every Friday night, only on Bravo, the Film and Arts Network. I think an independent film, an independent film is pretty easily defined by how long it takes to get this picture made. Maker for me is that it really puts the emphasis on the story, and the story is the key. Independent to me means a filmmaker has either been allowed or fought for the right to make his or her film the way they see fit. I want to put the message out there that, that, that I want to say and not necessarily tone it back or, or tame it down for somebody else's standards. We have found that if you give these filmmakers that have this type of talent, uh, artistic freedom, that over time they really do create the best movies. The thing that's really fun about the independent part of the world is that you're, you're on this exciting edge of people doing something for the first time, whether it's a kid from Brooklyn like Spike Lee making She's Gotta Have It, or whether it's a, a guy, a journalist from Flint, Michigan, who'd run an alternative weekly making a film about General Motors and the auto industry in the state of this country, whether it's a kid in New Jersey at a quick stop convenience store you know, working in the days and then closing the shutters at night and shooting his movie after hours. I got about 10, 12 credit cards together and took out cash advances on it and stuff and paid for services off of those. And then we, um, 
we, you know, scam discounts left and right. Like I got a film school badge just so I can get a 15% discount, you know, off of the Kodak film. There's a whole legacy of people that have come before that have made these sacrifices, filmmakers, you know, like John Cassavetes, John Sayles. Look at Martin Scorsese, look how well he's done. You work a lot faster in an independent film because you don't have as much money. That's, that brings a very different dynamic to the entire set. And for the actors, there's an edge that you constantly work on that's very stimulating. Independent films have uh, more or less taken over the marketplace. We are right now in a cycle where the American independent film movement is, is at a peak. The fact that there is an independent film channel uh, is a testament to how much of an inroad independent film has made into this culture. The idea of a, of a cable station for independent film appeals to me because you want to reach as wide an audience as possible as a filmmaker, as a person who's making something, as somebody who has something to say. What the independent film channel will do is, is give the public access to independent filmmakers who they've never seen before. The kinds of films that I think the IFC is, is after is the kind of energy that doesn't come out of Hollywood where there are people who have never ever been exposed to this world before, who emerge from nowhere, who come out of left field, and they have something extremely vivid to say. There is the commitment and I think the vision to take the risk to create this new venue and finding, you know, films that are unlike films that people are accustomed to seeing and perhaps rattle a few cages along the way. You're watching Bravo, the Film and Arts Network. We've been seeing and hearing what they wanted us to. Until now. Welcome to Exposé. Bravo's inside look at the business behind the arts. Come on, Bravo! Tantrum throwing coloratura. Schwarze Schnitzel, what's the name here? Big egos and bigger salaries. Exposé, hosted by Lauren Hutton. Coming up next, only on Bravo. The following program is brought to you by Cadillac and your Cadillac dealers. Oh, sure looks lonely out there. What kind of place a guy can really get lost in, huh? Yeah. Well, but your Lexus has an onboard satellite cellular communication system that'll open your door if you get locked out, give you directions if you're lost, send for help if you need it out there, huh? No, it doesn't. You paid what for that? Seville STS now offers OnStar, the interactive communication system there to help you 24 hours a day. Can I follow you? No. I mean, because if we're going the same direction, uh -uh. otherwise I'm going to be a little lost. No can do. We've been seeing and hearing what they wanted us to. Until now. Expose. Hosted by Lauren Hutton. Only on Bravo. Every Sunday at 7, Wednesdays at 10. Brought to you by Cadillac. Hey. What's your name? Um, Jim. Well, um, Jim, I don't mean to be personal, but can that Beamer of yours electronically optimize its handling if it detects an excessive rate of yaw that could result in a loss of control? I don't think so. Bummer. Seville STS with Stabilitrack, so advanced it can actually steer you back on track if you start to lose control. Bye-bye, um, Jim. Yaw? 